Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Alice Springs. Where the hell is that? I'm not entirely sure, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently it's up near Ayers Rock. Uh, so, but there's been a huge crisis going on there to do with Aborigines and uh, Albo. So, we're going to talk about that on tonight's report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the crisis in Alice Springs. There's been some kind of problem going on there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm not sure if you do know this, ladies and gentlemen, but um, there is some Aborigines that live up around Alice Springs. And another thing about Aborigines, this is a total brain shock to you all, I'm sure, is that occasionally Aborigines like a drink. Um, you know, they like to get on the grog, as Daniel Andrews say, they like to get on the beers. And um, so, you know, there's been a situation there where those, those, those evil anti-alcohol activists, the Liberal Party, have been up there giving Aborigines Aborigines this cashless card so that they can't take their Centrelink money and go straight to the bottle with it. This is completely un-Australian, ladies and gentlemen. Totally un-Australian, as you can get. So Albo's come along, the great libertarian that he has been, and has gotten rid of that cashless card. So now the Centrelink check goes straight to the local bottle and uh, it, it's just fun for all. But there's been some trouble. There's been some kind of, there's been a huge kind of like uh, crime has gone through the roof. There's been like machete attacks in malls. There's been like break-ins, burning cars, riots, all kinds of things going on associated with this. Uh, alcohol situation up in Alice Springs. So Albo's had to fly in and um, to try and sort out this national crisis. Now, I mean, really, ladies and gentlemen, this is, I mean, on all seriousness, I know I'm being a bit jokey with this report, but it is a terrible situation. Obviously, uh, the Aborigines do have a problem with alcohol. Um, and um, I think, you know, the problem seems to lie with the fact of our welfare system, that if you're an Aborigine, I don't know what they actually get, but I think they get more than disabled people. They 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 get extra funding, extra everything. So basically, they don't have to work. They can basically just sit around and, and live off Centrelink and use all their um, you know excess income on getting drunk. And this is not a good situation for anybody. It wouldn't be good if you were to give that to I don't know suburban people out in Melton or a poor you know white suburb in in, in Melbourne or whatever. They're going to get on the grog as well all the time. It's like you're just enabling the bad side of people. And I think it's a kind of, um, how would you put it, it's a kind of a, a governmental overreach gone wrong. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, the situation with the Aborigines has always been problematic, um, you know, because, I don't know, for whatever reason, they felt disenfranchised, um, but they are a people, um, you know, that haven't always, uh, well, let's say, they're not known for their hard work, um, you know, so uh, at least some of them, uh, um, many of them uh, do work hard, particularly if they're in relation to, you know, getting one of these funding situations. Uh, Situations, they're part of one of these funding bodies. They seem to work very hard to get in the money for themselves then. But I don't know, there seems to be a large part of the uh, the diaspora of Aborigines in rural Australia that um, you know, that live in almost like shanty towns that are almost like third or fourth world countries, which is a, is a disgrace to Australia. I don't know why they haven't been able to fit in. I don't know why. It's certainly not due to the fact that we haven't got in place, you know, essentially what amounts to affirmative action to enable them to take part in our society. We've done everything I think we almost can. I think this problem, and I hate to say it, but this problem itself lies with the Aboriginal community because we've done everything we can to enable them to have the support to succeed in society and for whatever reason they don't want to. Um, you know, and maybe they don't. Maybe they don't want to participate in, you know, in, in this kind of modern technological society. There's a lot of, I mean, maybe they're, you know, there's a lot of reasons why you might not want to do that. Maybe it's not even in their nature to do that. So, you know, I think this problem stems from, from that. And I don't no amount of political correctness, no amount of, you know, elbow flying in on his private jet is, is going to fix it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a problem that's existed in some parts of rural Australia, particularly in Northern Territory, particularly in, in Western Australia up north. Um, that's been there a long time, and um, you know, I don't know what to say. Is I mean, you know, the Maoris have this problem. You know what I mean? In in New, Ze New Zealand with grog and everything. You know, we we know that you've seen films like Once We're Warriors, and yes, of course, this comes at a bad time for Elbow because obviously, at the same time as he has this Aboriginal community behaving terribly, um, you know, he's trying to push this rubbish about the voice. You know, which uh, you know, I mean, Elbow is trying to present it as as, as uh, representing Aborigines in the Constitution, and also that they will be consulted through this thing, the voice, on Aboriginal uh, uh, issues, on issues that might affect the Aboriginal community. Which, on the surface, sounds great, but I am very suspicious of the voice. It sounds like a globalist weapon. Why the School of Davos are going to somehow become, you know, basically 
basically bribed the Aboriginal community and they will be the voice. So they will stop any kind of economic development wherever they don't want it. Um, and again, to financially uh, ruin Australia, etc, etc. So that's my thoughts on that. Here, the report from Tiger Mountain, I don't know what's to be done, but I do know it is a serious problem, and I do know that pouring more money into the situation, I think that's what created the problem in the first place, ladies and gentlemen, and the problem of alcohol in rural communities, I mean, you know, it's, it's a terrible situation. So there it is, that's the report from Tiger Mountain for this week.